How to find out who your real friends are. You might have a bunch of hallway friends, Facebook contacts, and social connections, but do you feel really connected to those friends? How can you know for sure? If you want to learn how to put your friendships to the test and make better friends, read on. Testing your friendship. Ask a friend for help. If you need help, is your friend there for you? Or, does your friend make excuses, disappearing when it becomes convenient? Real friends will show up if you need a helping hand and will show up to celebrate with you afterward. Real friends will help you move furniture, ride to the airport with you, and assist you with your homework. Avoid making too many demands of your friends. If you're in a constant need of help, it might be difficult for people to get close enough to you to consider you a friend. Real friends will help you move furniture, ride to the airport with you, and assist you with your homework. Avoid making too many demands of your friends. If you're in a constant need of help, it might be difficult for people to get close enough to you to consider you a friend. Change plans on your friend. If you're good friends with someone, you'll remain friends with them, regardless of what your plans are. Hanging out together should be enough of a reason to have a good time, and being together should be its own reward. How does your friend react if you decide to change plans? If you were planning on heading out for the night, see if your friend would rather stay home and watch a movie by their self. If a friend declines your request, that doesn't automatically mean that you lost a friendship, but the way they react can tell you a lot about them. Does your friend react as if your plan is the lamest idea ever? That's a bad sign. Does your friend legitimately want to go to a movie and be a homebody? That's different. Open up to a friend and talk about something personal. School friends or acquaintances aren't interested in helping you get through tough times. They're just interested in having friends who are convenient and simple fun on Friday nights. That's not to say that there's not a place for these kinds of friends, but if you're wondering who your true, good friends are, you need to open up and see how they react. Tell your friend how you're feeling about a date, or about a situation with your family that's stressing you out. Don't expect answers, but if you don't get a sympathetic ear, or if your friend seems annoyed, that's not a great sign. This is different than gossip. Lots of people like to gossip. That doesn't make them good friends. Tell your friend how you're feeling about a date, or about a situation with your family that's stressing you out. Don't expect answers, but if you don't get a sympathetic ear, or if your friend seems annoyed, that's not a great sign. This is different than gossip. Lots of people like to gossip. That doesn't make them good friends. Invite your friend to hang out with your family. While it's possible to have good friends that don't necessarily mesh with your parents and your siblings, if your friend gets along well with your family, that's a good sign. If your friend enjoys hanging out at your house, and your family enjoys having your friend around, it's a sign that your friend feels comfortable around you, and you can take what they're saying at face value. Invite a friend over for dinner with your family for an easy and quick way of testing the situation. Make sure to ask your parents first, to make sure it's okay. Watch for signs of, using. Just got a car in high school, and now you're suddenly, friends, with lots of people who didn't give you the time of day before. Often, people will act friendly when they want to get something from you. It's usually best to avoid these types of relationships. Users will flatter you and try to make you feel good with their attention, but won't ever be willing to hang out with you when the circumstances aren't right. If you've got a friend using you for your car, your Xbox, or your pool, ask them to hang out at another time, or say your car's in the shop. If they cancel, that's a bad sign. Watch for signs of jealousy. Sometimes, friendships can suffer from jealousy, especially if the two members are at different points currently. If you and your good friend both made the volleyball team, for example, but you made varsity and your friend didn't, your friendship can start to suffer. But good friends can learn to look past an initial jealousy and put the friendship at the front. Signs of jealousy include, your friend never celebrates your accomplishments, or criticizes instead of congratulates your friend becomes more distant to you since a negative energy your friend disappears you when you're struggling and need help. Watch for signs of two-facedness. Anyone who bad mouths you to other people isnt a friend. If you're getting mixed messages from someone, or if you're picking up that someone is talking about you differently to your face than to other people, that's not a friend. Talk to your other friends, if you're curious how you're spoken about in private. Good friends will let you know the truth. 
If anyone bad mouths you to your face, that's obviously not a friend. Joking around with someone is one thing, but if somebody puts you down and doesn't recognize that it's hurting your feelings, that's not someone who has your friendship in mind. Talk to your other friends, if you're curious how you're spoken about in private. Good friends will let you know the truth. If anyone bad mouths you to your face, that's obviously not a friend. Joking around with someone is one thing, but if somebody puts you down and doesn't recognize that it's hurting your feelings, that's not someone who has your friendship in mind. Confront someone you think is playing you. If you suspect a friend might be jealous, or two-faced, or using you for something, but can't quite figure it out, sit them down and have a one-on-one -on -one talk when you're feeling calm and ask them, point blank, are we friends? While it might sound like a weird question, and the person will likely be taken aback, you can follow up with what you've been noticing. I've noticed that you only want to hang out when you can use my pool and that you're talking trash about me to other people when I am not around. That doesn't seem like a friend. What's going on? Let people explain themselves. If you don't like what you hear, or if they try to defend behavior that indefensible, that person is not your friend. 